Now that I have opened the file first, I want to enhance the color of the boy's shirt. Let me select the shirt. I can do this using the magic wand tool. But if I use this tool, I will have to click several times to select this shaded shirt. That's going to be tedious. Instead, I'll use the channels palette which is grouped along with the layers and path palette. Next, I toggle through each channel and select the blue channel. You see the shirt now? There are still some shades of grey on it. It's not pure white. Let me try the CMYK mode that gives me the black channel. I hide all the other channels except the black channel. Now see the shirt? The grey shades are not seen anymore. Now I choose the magic wand tool and click on the boy shirt to select it. Before I change the shirt's color, let me select all the channels and go to the layer palette. This is done so that I retain the shades of the shirt. Using the hue saturation, I change the color to orange. Let me deselect the shirt. To adjust the darkness and brightness of the image, I select RGB mode and move the curves to get the desired effect. Do you see the color changing in the image? Next, I will color the cat. To do this, I hide all the channels except the red channel. Let me use the magic wand tool to select the cat. Oh, only the body of the cat has been selected. I also need to select the face and ears of the cat. To do this, I press the control key while selecting. Yes, now the cat's body is selected. Now I color the cat the same way I color the shirt. Don't you think something is still missing on the cat's body? Yes, it is the fur. To give it a more realistic look, I go to filter noise and choose add noise. This feature gives a grainy effect to the image. Then I adjust the amount till I get the desired effect. Let me now give it a flowing effect. To do this, I choose filter, blur, Motion Blur and change the distance setting. See, the cat looks more real now. I deselect the cat. And finally, save the file in JPEG format.